Hey guys, it's Sky again, and today I'm going to review this pencil case. I got this pencil case off of Amazon. It was sold by XC Source, all capitals, and it's just a 72 slot retro vintage pencil case. Um, it's made of canvas and faux leather and only comes in one color, which is the black. Um, it's nice because it's washable and it's really compact and small. So it opens up like a book and then it has one page in the center, three pages total. Um, it does have these little slots at the top so you can put the tips of your pencils into to give them some extra coverage. Now there were no reviews on this case and I don't know why but for some reason I just thought that this case just seemed to really suit the Derwent Inktense pencils. So I had to get it and also it was the cheapest case that I could find on Amazon. There was another more kind of book case. Uh, that was about, I think, $20. I paid $14.29 for this case. And I like how small and compact it is. This is the other 72 slot case I have, and this is one of the one that has four different compartments in it. And each of them has their own zipper. Which is pretty awesome, but it gets a little tiring to open up zippers all the time and have to open up all the zippers of the different pages and whatnot. I will leave a link down to that one as well if you're interested. But I just liked the way that this one looks. So I am going to do a little speed up video of putting my pencils in here and then we will see how everything works. And I'm using the Derwin Ink Tense pencils. So these are really chunky pencils compared to others. Let's see if I can grab a Prisma here to kind of show you the difference. So you can see that it's definitely quite bigger than a Prisma pencil. So we'll have to see how well this case does with this. pencil case with all of the German Ink Tense pencils inside of it. Um, it is quite bulky, keep in mind that if you're thinking about using a pencil case like this to store something like the Marco the Fiends, it probably would not look this bulky. So the strap that holds it together is elastic, so no matter how bulky your case gets, um, should still be able to go around it. As you can see, it stretches a far bit. So here is what the case looks like after having the pencils inside. You might have noticed that I did struggle with a few of these pencils getting them in there. It's probably just because the Derwent Ink Tense is so big and the case is new, so these are actually really tight. 
One thing I don't like about these is how long the straps are. Yes, it hold, keeps your pencil more secure, but it also kind of makes it a struggle to get them in there, especially when you plan to use the case for pencils with like really, I think it's cedar wood casing for these. I could be wrong. So some of the edges are kind of um, textured on the pencil. So some of them I really struggled to get them into the case. And it's just, it's crazy how long these straps are. Like, the, this is a really good case. Oh, sorry, I bumped my camera there. I could, I could shake this for days and these pencils would never fall out. And it's just got these short little straps and it's just, it's so much more convenient, I find. I mean, this is, this is okay, but it is... Some of them are really a struggle to get back in there. Um, these pencils do fit really tightly, but again, they are <laughs> bigger pencils of my little kitty helper. So then there's the second page. Now one thing I really don't like about this, and it's probably just my OCD, and I am going to take some of these out and try to put some Marco Ruffines in and see if it still does this is the middle page is kind of like that. So you can see on the normal pages it lays flat. And it started doing that even with just the one side on. But it did it a lot more once I put the other side on. And I think it's just because these pencils are just, just so tight together. But I really don't like that. So it says 72 slot pencil case. Um, I just put all my Derwent ink pencils in here. Um, I believe this is, yeah, there's another slot here, so that makes 73, okay, that's not a slot, that is a slot, 74, um, possibly 75, but then there's also two slots at the end here. So, after having my pencils in this case, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them in here or not. Um, I might try them with the Marco Ruffines or even my Prisma Scholars and then maybe just put these in my other case here. Um, it's not a bad case. Let's, let's take these ones on the middle flap out and see how the um, Marco Ruffines look in here. Okay, so I'm filling these middle slots up with the Marco Ruffines, and I can already tell you that these are going in so much easier, probably especially after being stretched by the Derwents. So they seem to fit a lot nicer, and it's definitely not quite so bulky. What is your problem, little miss? whiny little thing. So the middle still bulges out a little bit but not as bad as it did with the German ink tents. But I think over time these straps should loosen up quite a bit and I think when it does, I will probably like the case a little bit more than I do right now. Um, I wasn't too concerned if this case didn't really come through like I thought it would because, like I said, I have this case anyways, so I can always switch my scholars into here and then put my Derwents in that one. But I think I'm going to keep testing this case out and um, I'm going to come back in a few days, for you it'll be a few seconds or minutes, depending on when I finish filming this, but I'm going to test it out for a few days. Um, I am going to say though, if you are looking to get this case just for the Marco Ruffines or pretty much any other type of 72 set of pencils that aren't as wide as the Derwent Ink Tens, I believe these are 4 millimeters, so anything less than that would probably be okay in this case and I think you would not have a problem whatsoever 
One thing I did want to test out with this is if I if I shake this case, these Derwins are not coming out whatsoever. So for the most part, these didn't really move either. So all in all, I think for decent normal sized pencils, this case would be pretty much perfect. So I will see you back with my final thoughts on this case. Hey everyone, so it has been a well, quite a while actually since I started using this pencil case and I have to say that although I didn't sound too thrilled with it at first, I have actually grown to really like this pencil case. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it in the beginning of the videos that I recorded for this review. But I just felt like the Derwent Inktense pencils needed something kind of vintage looking and I liked how small and compact this pencil case is. I mean, it is pretty small. Um, one thing I should have done if you want dimensions for this case, yeah, let's go in inches. It is about 8.5 inches by, let's see, just under 8. So it is a fairly small pencil case. It's very compact and for holding 72 pencils that is really good. Um, one thing I did notice was that it was really good that they did have the extra slots. Because before I showed that there was kind of like a bulge here in the middle but now as you can see there is pretty much no bulge whatsoever. It used to look like, like that almost. So what I did was I left a slot here empty so it kind of gives the pencils more room and then I did the same thing on the other side I left a slot right here empty. Um, now if you're using this pencil case for you know normal size pencils you probably wouldn't have to do that you could probably use every single slot in this case and it would probably be fine. But again here I noticed that it was kind of bulging at the back and now it's pretty much flat. I did leave one little, um, oh my mind just totally blanked out. I left one little slot here blank, or empty I should say, and um, that was actually one slot that I did need. So what I decided to do is I just decided to take the outliner out since I probably won't really use it much and it's not really for coloring anyway, so I just keep that on top of my desk with some random pencils. So that pretty much made this case absolutely perfect. Um, another thing I did, as you can see, is I didn't tuck the tops of the pencils here into the slot, and um, that definitely helped getting rid of the bulge at the bottom here. Um, for the most part, it still keeps your pencils pretty safe, I would think. I mean, they're not going to go anywhere, and especially if you don't take your coloring stuff everywhere with you, then it wouldn't make a difference anyways. So my stuff always stays at my desk, so I'm not too worried about traveling with my pencils. So all in all, I'd say that this case is pretty awesome. Um, it is one of the cheapest 72 slot cases that I have seen. Uh, I will include... Um, a couple links to another two optional 72 slot cases that I know of. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you have any further questions or any other concerns or anything, be sure to comment them in the description. And if you are just a one-time visitor, it was nice to see you. And if you are a subs returning subscriber, I will see you in one of my next videos. Bye, guys.